And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the brand new Power Up expansion. Now, I know yesterday might have been a little bit more boring because we just had a few cards, like six of them, to talk about. Didn't have all the stats. Kind of just went over them. But today, they are in game. We have all the stats. You can actually get them from the solos. So you can get your free power-ups to go power up and it's, it's a very simple process guys like you don't really need much to do now you guys missed it because my mic was just muted so i have to say it again but there was a full 90 overall fletcher cox on my screen if you guys want a free fletcher cox all you got to do is head on over to superstar ko and get like five sacks i was playing a lot of yesterday with my friend and i got quite a few uh stats and level ups and won a few times so we ended up getting a few free players so go check out that fletcher cox if you guys want a 90 overall defensive tackle but going into the video guys if you, are, if you are new to the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys, come join the family, make sure this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the new power-ups. Now let's go to the power-ups right here. Now, here we go, earn power-up items for David Carr, Joe Jer Jervisius, Andrew Norwell, Lofa Tatapu, and Jason McCordy, and Micah Hyde. So there's six of them total, and if you want them and you don't want to go buy them, go ahead and play these right here. Very simple solos, guys, really not the hardest thing in the world. Two clock, one star done in nine minutes max very simple you can pick which one you want personally guys for me i have to see the stats and i like i'll kind of let you guys know what i think of each card but until i see the stats i can't make an overall uh idea like i wasn't really the biggest fan of micah hyde per se but you never know he could be one of the better ones once you look at all the other stats we really got to see first and see how things are really looking but i'm actually kind of like i i think the power up expansion promo guys is super cool i really do I think that it was a super fun idea for them to go ahead and do because it's really going to start completing a lot of theme teams. It's going to start completing a lot of players that before didn't have any upgrades. And even with Navarro Bowman, give you some usable players. You may not like Micah Hyde, but that's fine because there's going to be some other guys. If this happens once a week, we're going to get plenty of new guys. You know, I'm saying they just rely on these. Let's go to newest here and see if we have any of them up. Uh, how should we filter these out? So let's go. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find Joe Jervisius. Yeah, there we go. So 55k right there. Guys, they're going to be pretty expensive for a little bit. Like, they will come down because people know you can't get them for free. It's kind of like Legend players. In the first five minutes, he will go 55k. In the first hour, he will go for like 30k. And by later today, he should be like 20 to 10k, maybe even less, maybe even 5k. Just go play the solo, guys. Eight minutes, 50k. There's really just no comparison there. Go play the solo. Let's pick them up. I do want to see their stats, however. So I'll probably end up showing you guys the stats over on Mudhead so that you guys can see everything. I don't want to spend 50k on each card here because that will be very uh non-time efficient so let's go check those out guys i'll be right back all right so starting with joe jervisius here as you guys can see 90 overall wide receiver for the tampa bay buccaneers he's six foot five 230 so the frame is very similar to calvin johnson kind of like a vincent jackson-esque build now let's move on down to see all the stats here now as you guys can see on the top row we got 94 speed 82 strength 93 agility 94 excel 98 awareness 94 catching 96 jumping 97 stamina and 94 injury now, with Sprinter and John Madden, he will be able to get up to a 97 speed, which isn't all that great. I mean, it's not horrible, but again, won't probably be a wide receiver on my team in the near future. 82 trucking is really good. 87 break tackles is really good. 83 ball carry vision is decent. 91 stiff arm is pretty good. No spin and juke, really. A good carry, 88 carry. 95 short route running, 97 medium route running, and 87 deep route running. Really good route running besides the deep route running. Catch and traffic, spec catch, amazing, but no release, which is kind of a big deal for me with big wide receivers who I plan to kind of get them off of people. I don't really see, I mean, I don't know. He seems like a guy that's going to be like very contested catch all the time. Not much finesse to his game. I don't think this is personally a card for me. I really don't see myself going for him personally. Maybe on, on, a, wait, on a Bucks team, team guys, he's, he's absolutely ridiculous because he's going to have 99 like everything. That's on a Tampa Bay Buccaneers theme team. I don't know what the uh, supply and demand on those things really are for the most part, but I probably won't be going that route in Madden 20. But let's go on to the next one, which is David Carr, quarterback for the Texans, or at least was a quarterback for the Texans. Six foot three, 212 pounds. Moving it out. So he's got 83 speed. Now, I don't know what his archetype is, which would have been pretty nice right there, but he's at 83 speed, which is decent enough. Maybe he can get like a skate artist, but I don't think he's an improviser. I think he might be like a field general. Uh, good agility, good, good excel in 84, good awareness, good stamina, good injury, but let's move on down. Let's go to where the stats start to count, so no juke, nothing, no carry, but he has 97 throw power, which is amazing, 93 throw short, which is good, 
97 throw mid, which is good. 92 throw deep, which is good. 93 throw on the run, which is really good. And 92 throw under pressure. Really bad break sack and a 95 play action. So honestly, guys, you put John Madden passing and like go. If you put John Madden passing and either West Coast, if you put West Coast on him, he gets 99 mid and like a 96 throw short. Or if you want better deep, you put John Madden passing and go deep on him and he gets 99 throw power, 99 throw mid, uh, throw medium, and 90 like 7 or 96 throw deep. This card's a really, really good passer. He's really not that bad. I mean, obviously, you have to do a lot to make him that good. But let's say you have a Texans team, team you get yourself a quarterback for sure. And let's move on to the next one, which is Micah Hyde. Free safety, 98 overall. The thing with Micah Hyde is his height's decent. He's 6 feet tall, 197. Nothing, not that. But you guys are going to see the issues pretty soon. So he's only got a 92 speed, as you guys can see right here. Now, even with John Madden and Sprinter, he's only going to get some 95, which is decent, but not what I'm looking for. Now, remember, if you are on a Bills team, team disregard this is probably phenomenal. 94 agility is good. 93 excel is decent. The catching is kind of low at this point. 87 jumping is kind of low, honestly, for his height. Uh, stamina injury doesn't really matter for him as much. Moving on down to his stats up here. 83 tackle sucks. In a run-heavy meta, he's going to get broken off of 100 times. The hit power sucks, so don't hit power. And I know, guys, here's the, here's the issue with Madden. Everyone has a tendency to hit power no matter what, and I do myself. I'm guilty of that. So the issue is I'm going to try to hit power Bo Jackson golden ticket with Micah Hyde, and I'm just going to fall right off of him. And that's going to be a touchdown because he's going to be the one guy left after the stretch to the left. And that's been an issue I used to have with Earl Thomas. So it's kind of why I like Sean Taylor. But again, at a Bill's team, team, he might be a good, he might be a zone hawk. Maybe you put him at free, you know, you keep him at free safety deep and you use your strong more in the box. Really comes down to how you play with him. Blocks is going to be horrendous as well. If he gets blocked, it's kind of done for. 92 pursuit's kind of bad as well. 99 play rack's amazing. 90 man's amazing. 99 zone coverage is amazing. And 89 press is amazing for a free safety. If you put the right stuff on him with John Madden on a lockdown, you put actual lockdown, and you have him on a Bill's team team, his man's probably clearing like a 96. Press is probably like a 95. Zone 99. He'd be, honestly, he'd probably be better at cornerback. If you guys put him on a Bills team, team at cornerback, probably going to be phenomenal if he does have the secondary position there. Moving on next to Jason McCourty, flashback. Jason McCourty, that's the card art they're using here. 5'11", 195. This card was one of those cards that I really had to see. Now, 96 speed, guys. Amazing. That's it. Sprinter and John Madden, he has a 99 speed at cornerback. That makes him instantly competitive. 93 agility makes him competitive. 97 excel, one of being a 99. Makes him competitive. 78 catches, decent enough. 91 jumping is decent enough. Now, moving on to the defense where it really starts to matter here. So, let's see. Tackle and hit power. We expect that to be bad. Block should expected. Pursuit's kind of low. Play recognition is amazing. Man coverage is amazing. Zone is good. And press is amazing. So, powered up, chemmed up, John Madden lockdown. And you put everything on him. So, with lockdown and everything and John Madden lockdown, he will end up with a 99 man coverage. He'll end up with a 98 zone coverage. And he will end up with a 98 press. Or actually, a 99 press. And a 99 play record. So you could potentially make him a lockdown all around corner. So honestly, Jason Cody so far, probably gonna rank him as the top one so far out of all. And this one is super, super solid. Then we got Andrew Norwell, six foot six, 325. Strikes 92, a little bit low, but not horrible. Moving on down to run blocking the 91. Uh 93 run block. And then 90 run block finesse. So the power is high, the finesse is low, and the regular run block is kind of low. But he's more of a pass blocker, so 97 pass block, 99 pass block power, and 96 pass block finesse, 96 impact block. So, chemmed up the right way with zone run on him, you probably end up getting his, his pass blocking is already maxed pretty much, and his run blocking probably gets up to like a 94. This card's honestly a super solid left guard. I really wouldn't think about many other left guards, honestly, unless you got a more balanced one, but you're going to get maxed out pass protection, although I personally like it reversed. I usually like better pass protection out of my tackles and then better run, uh, run blocking out of my guards, but... Still super solid, really can't argue with that. And then we got Lofa, six feet tall, middle linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks. So let's see, on my team with John Madden, Sprinter, and Sprinter, he went up with 92 speed, which isn't horrible. It's just right there at the threshold of what we've been looking for. I really want it more though. Agility's kind of low for me. I kind of want something a little bit higher than that. Moving on down to the other sides. 90 impact block's good. 96 tackle's good. 80 and hit power's kind of low at this point. I'd rather have Patrick Willis at this point. 90 block shed's good. 96 pursuits amazing. 98 play rack's amazing. 87 zone is amazing. Okay, so this card I can see the, I can see the use for him. If you were to power him up, cam him up, and put him at like put him as your second linebacker, and you don't use him, you let him sit in his own zone alone, and you max out. So you have to max out play rack. He'll end up with like a 91 zone coverage. He can literally play alone. So that's not bad. Not a horrible card. Now to rank these guys from 
one through six so coming at number six like last on the list i'm probably putting micah hyde i see no use for him on my team personally and then at number five i'm probably putting in my opinion i'm mm, that was tough so he's number six now david carr is good but i'm putting him at five because i personally wouldn't use him because i there's, there's many better quarterbacks he wasn't bad but there's many better quarterbacks and then number four on the list probably gonna put joe jervisius because I don't see a use for him either. Speed's too low. He'd have to be on a Bucks team team. Otherwise, I don't see a point where I use him over other guys. Number three. So last week, we have a Cordy Norwell and Lofa. I'm probably putting Lofa at number three. Now, don't get me wrong. He's good and all, but you have to leave him alone. You can't use him, and you don't really... You, like He's a card you have to put in a certain spot. Kind of limits you a little bit there. And then coming at number two, I'm probably putting Jason McCordy because he is locked down with great speed. Really good card. And then number one, I'm putting Andrew Norwell because the stats are just good enough that I could even start on my team. And he's probably just solid for everyone all around. But let's go to the match to close this video out. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are into the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Comment down below what you think of anything going on. And if you guys will be picking up any of these guys, give me your rankings down below. And about positional heroes, guys, I don't know yet. We're still waiting on that before you guys ask. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.